Kevin? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm out here picking up railroad spikes, but I was going to do a railroad spike sculpture, so I thought, well, let me come get some of these and get them cleaned up a little bit, get some of the rust off of them. But rather than standing there at the grinder all day long, you know, trying to polish those off, or, you know, with a handheld grinder trying to clean them all off, I got a tool. Yeah, it's a little loud. This is a vibrating tumbler. You know, normally you would use it like with, with rocks. You want to polish rocks or something like that if you're making jewelry. What I've found is, you know, it works really well at getting rust off of metal too. So really anything that's small enough to fit inside this barrel or drum, uh, just throw it in there. These have been in here for about 20 minutes, I guess, half hour, right in that area. You can certainly see the difference. It just helps get all the scale, you know, all the all the flaky rust off of it, the dirt, the grime, the whatever that happened, you know, happened to be on it from being out on the railroad. And really, just a quick trip to the wire wheel, you know, clean up the end. I want to weld on. It should be pretty close to what I need. You know, I, I might have to come back and just. You know, touch it up a little bit just to get a little bright shiny metal on there but it saves me probably a good three or four minutes worth of work per spike and some of the sculptures that i make have hundreds of spikes in them so it adds up pretty quick let the machine do the work while you're doing something else so this vibratory bowl they call it, or vibratory tumbler they call it over at harbor freight this is a 18 pound version and then they've got a five pound version. Now this one was uh, about $150. And of course you have to buy some tumbling medium to go in there. You know, so I, I went with the little ceramic polishing bits. And they, they look almost like bone, really. But they seem to do a really nice job. They've got some smaller stuff. On the bottle, these are called rust removers, or rust removal medium. So it works really, really well combination of both of them in there you know throw your spikes in put the top on flip it on walk away so normally this guy lives outside you know, I, I put him right outside the door there where I don't have to listen to it I can you know, it's closer to the railroad spikes out there so I can go grab a you know a batch of nice clean ones to bring in to work with go out and get another couple of handfuls of dirty ones throw them in there let it keep going um, even the little bugs, the little ants I make, you know, the little spiders, things like that, right in there. Throw them in, let them tumble around a little bit, cleans them all up, gets rid of any, any you know, soot, gets rid of any slag, you know, if you're stick welding. So I'm just going to load this guy back up. I am going to put it outside so I don't have to listen to it and get myself back to work. You guys are going to reach down and hit that subscribe button for me and you're going to pop out to my website and you're going to sign up for my newsletter. I'll see you next time. Note to self, tighten the knob.